The last part of this chapter is see water of crystallization. Okay. Water of crystallization. What do you mean by water of crystallization? That is very important. Water of crystallization means, see for example, we will do some activity to find out what is water of crystallization. I am taking 1 gram of salt in a test tube. Which salt shall I take? You have seen copper sulfate, no? CuSO4. It will be in which color? Correct. Blue color. Okay, blue color copper sulfate I am taking in a test tube. And with the help of a test tube holder, I am holding it I am, and I am heating. When I start heating that, the blue colored salt will become white color. And in the tip of the test tube and all, you will see water droplets. Why is it happening like that? That's a question I know now. This is called as water of crystallization. In salt snow, always there will be some molecules of water present in that. When you touch the salt, you will not be able to find out whether water molecule is there or not. Okay? But to give the structure of the salt, the water molecule will be present. That is called as water of crystallization. The definition is, the fixed number of water molecules present in one formula unit. present in one formula unit. It means in one formula. For example, if I am taking copper sulfate dioxide, see here I have written 5. In some other salts I have written 2, 5 and all. Different now, the molecule of water present. See the fixed number of water molecules present in one formula unit. For copper sulfate, it will be always 5 molecules of water. Calcium sulfate, it will be always 2 molecules of water. For this 7, then only they get the structure. Okay. So this definition tells that fixed number, fixed number of water molecules present in one formula unit. In one formula, how many molecules of water are present now? That tells that it is water of crystallization. Fixed number of water molecules present in one formula unit is called water of crystallization. First point is the definition. It is also called as hydrated salts. Oh, it is called as hydrated salts. Okay, you will be telling the answer now. No? Hydrated means water. So, in that salt, water is present. Water molecules are seen. So, it is also called as hydrated salts. For two more questions, if they ask what is water of crystallization, you will be writing the definition. One mark. And it is also called as hydrated salt. Where two examples we should give. Shall we study two examples here? See, calcium sulfate. Always with calcium sulfate, two molecules of water will be present. With copper sulfate, always there will be five molecules of water. With magnesium sulfate, always seven molecules of water. And with ferrous sulfate, seven molecules of water. This is what is already you have studied in salt. Good. Sodium carbonate, right? Always ten molecules of water. That's the reason we have done deca. Okay, these five examples you can study. Now, the other name for copper sulfate is blue vitriol. Can you tell me why? Vitriol means in Latin glassy. Okay, glassy. If you look the salt, if you touch the salt, it will be there. That, uh, like some odd glassy appearance will be there. And if you touch also, it will be in crystal form. Not like the normal salt. So, vitriol means glassy in Latin. So, the look tells... That it is vitriol. And if it is blue in color, it is called as blue vitriol. If it is green in color, see all other salts are white salts. Calcium sulfate, sodium carbonate, decahydrate is white. Magnesium sulfate is white. Only these two are vitriols. Copper sulfate will be blue in color. So it is called as blue vitriol. And ferrous sulfate is green in color. Okay, pale green in color. When you come back, I will show. Or I will go to the lab and I will show you the salt the next day. Ferrous sulfate, it will be green in color. So, what, what should be the name? Good. Here, if it is blue vitriol, here it will be green vitriol. Okay. So, these two things. So, what are crystallization? Three points are together. First one is the definition. It is the one formula unit. What one formula unit? Fixed number of water molecules. The second point what we have studied is hydrated salt. It means 
water is present there. Then few examples. You can study any two if you are interested. You can study all the five. Uh, few more words you will study. See, efflorescence. What do you mean by efflorescence? It means when you are heating the salt, it will become anhydrous. Anhydrous means it will lose the color and it will lose the water also. Then that salt is called as anhydrous. Okay. For example, you can take copper sulfate. This term is efflorescence. These type of salts can also be called as efflorescent salts. Deliquescent salt means it will become wet. If you keep it, if you leave it in moisture, if you leave it in the atmosphere, it will absorb the moisture from the atmosphere and it will become wet. And sometimes it will become watery in the solution also. Okay. Those things are called as deliquescent salt. For example, sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide can also be used. And the third one, hygroscopy means these type of salts, they will absorb the moisture from the atmosphere but they do not dissolve. They will be, they absorb and they will be like that. For example, CAO, where uh, you have studied CAO somewhere, no? Is it quick climb or slate climb? Check it once. Good children. Okay, so this is the final part of this chapter. Uh, we have studied water of crystallization definition. Then we have studied why it is called as hydrated salt. Then we have studied few examples. We have also studied the three terms that is what is efflorescence, what is deliquescence and what is hygroscopy. Go through the whole chapter. In the next week I will be giving on MCQ test. Okay, if you have any doubts in those things what we have studied. We have studied all the subtopics like acids we have studied clearly, bases we have studied and also salts. Okay, if you have any doubt you can uh, send your message and uh, we will meet you in the next chapter. So, um, what is the next one you should continue with? Physics, no? Okay, ma'am will be teaching the next chapter magnetic effect from Monday. Okay, bye.